Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, yes, it is dark, and it is unfortunately raining. I wasn't expecting the rain, but I did do a little bit of work on the, the Slingo game here. Or Splinko, sorry. Um, someone has suggested I put little ramps in the corner just to sort of kick the ball out a little bit, and I decided to do that, and I thought, well, why don't we try to get some lights in there at the same time? So I did that. I'm actually waiting for the ball to come back. There it is, and it almost flew over the car. And so let's go take it over to the end. Uh, there, I have been having issues with it sort of binding in the middle, and I think it's a weight placement on the, the carriage there. And I was thinking about uh, trying to put side ro uh, wheel bearings, I like to call them. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, which one? That one. I got confused which buttons I push. Uh, I was trying to see if I could have something that would guide a little bit better. I might have to build that out a little bit better, a little more. We'll put it on, try it on the other side. Um, I want to make sure this goes that doesn't get stuck but then I went up there and I was gonna go actually do it and I realized that it wasn't gonna work because of the fact that I have this built on a 45 to get the hover pads to work so unfortunately I'm just gonna have to deal with it this way for now but we'll give it one more shot I'm just gonna drop it right here at the end here and see if I can get it to sort of bounce out uh, I didn't put it at the bottom because you know that's actually a possible scoring option a uh, bad scoring option but a po scoring option nonetheless so let's go down and see if it'll actually go on that side, and it might. Uh, no, it's not going to. Oh, there it goes. But it just missed it. But anyways, uh, that is that. Ooh, and that is I don't know safe. It always gets terrible around here, and I think uh, Build Vision's got something to do with that. There's a phantom roller coaster again. But I do have a project I want to do today. Something I've been planning on doing for. A while it was actually shortly after the color update came out and it was it was supposed to technically be be my first transformer even though it wasn't not it's not actually a transformer it's something it's you know it's still the same thing but uh, let me bring back the day here does it and we'll discuss the build and how I plan on doing it. Uh, I am going to be using a couple of different things. I'm actually trying to find a free space here. We're going to have to go over here for this one. Um, but it's going to use a couple of different ideas that I've used. I think I've used all of them. Uh, one of them is going to be like a spring mechanic. And let me find the right blocks to use here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Actually, did I have one set up here? Uh, we can actually use one already set up here, the, the turret idea. Uh, actually, I have the spring idea over in my storage system. It was not in the storage system, but it was in my front yard. So what I'm doing is uh, with a spring is you have one hover pad pushing away, and then usually two of them pushing towards. Yes, this is that, and yes, so two of them pushing towards. So when I go ahead and power this, it's going to come out this way. When I unpower, it's going to go back the other way. I believe so. Uh, do I have something not connected here? There we go. So as you can see, as that power turn goes one way, when I unpower, it goes back. So it's technically a spring. It's not a small spring, but it's technically a spring. It does stick, and that's for unknown reasons. Uh, an idea like this, you could probably get away with just having... You know, if you put this hover pad in afterwards, you might be able to get away with having them on a 45. But it does work. You don't have to have the full thing. You still have this area cut out. And that's sort of the idea I'm going to use for this project. Uh, this is also a project that would have been the first project that I intended on using the large air blades for. The helicarrier that was in it to win it scenario. But I never really did any testing on these things. And one of those things I wanted to test was actually the shape of the hitbox. Uh, I did have them use them on the helicarrier enclosed, but uh, they were sort of in pre-made spots because I had converted over from the small air blades to the large air blades. And I never really did check to see if the hitbox is actually square or not. I do, do know that they need a three-block gap like the 
the regular size ones. Wow, these are big. Yes, they're 13 by 13, I do believe. So you got to be quite a ways. So see, I can go down to here, which is right at the bottom. So I can make three blocks. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to finish it up. And yeah, they are a little expensive. And yes, this is something that's going to be fixed in the next update. Uh, I do know that the next update is going to be a very interesting update. And I'm, I am going to just let you guys know to keep an eye out for this one. This might be something a lot of people are looking for. All right, so let's uh, see what we got here. And uh, by the looks of it already, it is square. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Or is it? If I can place there, I can't place there. So there's that. And yeah, so it's going to be 13 by 14. 13 by 12. Yeah. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Uh, the reason why I need to know this is because uh, you can probably already see by the th by the thumbnail, uh, I am trying to conceal these things. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is going to find a nice open area to build it. Hopefully, something without too much lag. Uh, I will find something and I'll bring you back as soon as I can find my flyer. Okay, I got the flyer all loaded up. Uh, I was checking the containers here. Those containers upstairs for the frames and plates are actually completely full. So I have 12,000 of each. And I also decided to change the floor up a little bit today. Uh, it is nomads, no, no limits. And that's right, because we've all had one of those situations where in the plain planet nomads where it's like, now what? Well, got to find something, find some way to do it. Uh, also, uh, speaking of which, I forgot to mention, if you haven't had a chance, get, go on to the Steam Store page. Uh, they uploaded a new video that is actually quite interesting. And of course, every time I start recording, it starts raining. But anyways, uh, I think we're just going to head over there where the Godillas are and let, let them see what a, a real predator looks like. So we'll head off of this way. I figure it's a nice flat area. Uh, too bad I can't fly. That's fine. Yeah, this should be a good enough area. Uh, I figure it shouldn't be more than 20 or 30 blocks. Oh, probably about 20, 25 blocks wide and about no more than 40 long. That almost looks like cobalt, but I know it's not. Uh, get out of that, get out of that, and uh, we shut that off. What is that? I think that's that silicone. Uh, let me find a stasis chamber. Yes, that's right. I'm using the ones I already have instead of making new ones all the time. Uh, it's that crafting table of pan pandemic. But anyways, so this seems like a good spot to do it. Um, they won't be bothering me. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I think this time I'm going to go through the build with you. All you do with the transformer just... Sort of, in case, actually that's a little too high. Just uh, in case any of you want to try to do something like this, you can sort of get a better idea of doing it. Uh, one of the difficult things about this build, of course, the fact that it's going to be a circle. Uh, there's a few other things i got to keep in mind, too, is it's going to be a flying circle. Uh, it's also going to be possibly top-heavy so I have to watch out for weight placement. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a frame, sort of an oval shape, not quite round. I need more plates, so i got to bring my flyer over. And uh, sort of get like a template to work with, and I'll bring you back when i got something. Okay, this is what I got. I haven't actually had a proper look at it, but it seems about right. Doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect because, oh, because of that auto save, uh, because no guarantees it's even gonna fly, anyways. Uh, so what I do need to do is just get a rough idea where I want to set the air blades up. Uh, it's gonna be a hinged setup, so as you can see, this is why I had to make it so big. If we get up here, we can get a 
better idea, and I, th I just want to see where it's going to snap in here. Yeah, originally I was thinking of having the shell overhang the frame, and that way to avoid any possible clipping, but I think this could work. Actually, no, we will overhang because I still got to put the motor in, so now what we got to do is find out where we're going to put it. Uh, we do have to find out where we're going to have the shell open up, and with the ladybug it's usually... The side's a little more rounded, so we'll make this the front. So the air blade is going to take a majority of the space. So I will probably have it, probably have it open right about here. We'll place some mercury on the other side, uh, like so, and then the handy dandy ceiling tile. Uh, we will need that generator eventually, uh, mainly for the weight, but let's go ahead and just get this in here, doesn't have to be perfect, uh, these are going to be where the, the motors, I'll call them, are going to be, uh, so that's apparently uneven, of course it is, because I built it that way, actually, since we want the weight down anyways, maybe we can... Will this actually fit? Yes, it will. These do have a very odd hitbox. I have trouble building with them sometimes. But, uh, whatever. Early access. Can't say much. Okay, so... Uh, the pads themselves need a 7x7 seven seven. and I'm actually wondering if no we can't put it down uh, let's see here so I need because I'm going to have three of them in there yeah I could do it with a 7x7 seven seven. so then the rotating plate is going to go let's see here so we need two from either side one, two, so there, and then one, two, so it'll go there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, which would be in this corner. And then we place a block on top. Now it's going to seem a little odd. Yes, it is. It's really, this hinge should be out here. So we might have to move that in or out even possibly to here just for aesthetic purposes I had this all planned out for the most part what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid the gap that's going to be going to be here because obviously there's going to have to be a section that folds out but I can't hit the front area so I'm trying to did have it figured out. Let me see if I can think of a better way to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to move it in one more. Uh, actually, no, we're just going to leave it where it was, I think. And I have an idea of what I'm going to... How I'm going to do it. And that's make it work. I do have to get some parts here. Uh, let me just grab some mechanical parts here quickly. Hey, ooh, right chest. Perfect. Look, it's a flying disc. Alright, so, uh, what I need to do is, I need to, I need to figure out if this airblade's going to fit now. Yes or no, I'll go back and forth. What I basically want is the air blades are going to be stored like this, and when the wings uh, shell opens up, they're gonna they're gonna spin out or they're gonna fold out and rotate as they go. So they're gonna be stored like this when they go up, when they fold out. They're gonna be faced normally. 
So they're both going to be in the middle. Uh, one is going to have to be on top of the other, just because, you know, they're not going to fit. And I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. And it does look like it's going to fit in the back end here. So I'm kind of worried about... Actually, I probably should have made this bigger because of the square hitbox. Yes, I gotta redo this. Okay, so there it is. I brought it out, I think, about two two or three blocks wide on e either side, which it, we're actually gonna need because of the fact that we're stacking these airblades, we're gonna need air, at least eight block space because we need to have a space below the hover pad or the air blade, sorry. Uh, the air blade needs three blocks, so that's four. Then you need a space between the two air blades, that's going to be five, and then another three for the top one, so that's eight. So it's going to be up to about here for the air blades before we can start getting a proper curvature going to the top of the roof. Uh, so what I have done, as I have thought about how I'm going to do this. Now, again, since I've redone this thing, it's kind of kind of goofy looking at the moment. Maybe... Uh, Let's trim that one off and that one off. Circles are so hard in this game. Uh, I have done something involving circles in Minecraft before. I'll show a, show a picture or a clip of something right now. It's a, it was a train I was working on. Uh, it's called the General. And as you can see by the looks of that thing, there's a lot of circles in that. I don't know how many hours I put into that. Probably a good 30 hours into that project. And that was quite something. It was, I learned how to do circles quite well in that game. I actually learned how to do circles back in the day. If uh, if you remember Logo, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I was actually able to make circles in that game. Or technically when we call that a game, it would be like a programmable drawing program pretty much. And yeah, I, uh, I learned that when you're doing circles that uh, you start on a plane and then you go, then let's say you go five and then you go, you go in one, you go four, you go in one, you go three, you go in one, you go two, and then you get down to one and then as you go down here you got to start going two this way and then three this way and then four this way and you'll actually get an arc. Uh, of course it looks bigger, better the bigger the scale you go, but yeah, you do what you can, right? Uh, I think it's this one here, is it not? Uh, I'm just setting up a place to uh, put the spinners, and that's not hover mode, and that is my inventory. Uh, let's see, yeah. I'm gonna get a foundation set up here, or a little place to set up the, the mechanics. Again, trying to keep as, all the weight down low as I can. Oh, I actually did get two of them in there. I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, let me finish this up and I'll bring you back. Okay, I think this will do good here. So now we got to start with our rotational point. I might actually use this corner as a corner for the hover pads. So I need five by five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. It's almost like I had it planned out. So that's going to be here. One, two, three, four, five. Counting wrong today. So then we have the block there, or the rotating plate. We put a block on top. And we'll put another one up top for now. So now we are going to build this in the closed position so we can get the curvature to line up with that. So what I need to do is first we get some hover pads on here. Uh, so retracted, it's going to be closed in this way. So we will have a hover pad here, but this one is going to be facing this way. And what that's going to do is that's going to push that hover pad away. Oh, and that's an auto save. <laughs> that's always an auto save. And then on the other side, you're going to have hover pads facing the other way. And I'm in the way, that's why I won't let me place it. No, it's not going to work like that, is it? No, it's not. Unless... 
Let me check something quickly. Okay. I know what the problem was. The problem is I this hover pad actually has to go here. So I will put place a block here for now. And I think I can actually place the hover pads in. Uh, this one can go in, this one can go in. But the other one has to go in afterwards once it's open. Uh has to be facing that way. Now why aren't you placing? Let me place there. Okay. Place that time. I must I thought it was out of range of didn't have materials or something. Uh, yes I don't have materials. But anyways, we're just gonna leave those there for now. Because now I gotta get the spot set up for the next air blade. So I do need to have the wall on this side for this one to push. But we only need to have it too high. Which means that the first air blade is gonna be at this height. Yeah. Uh, what I will do is we'll bring it out like this. And then we'll put it on and see where it fits. And it wants to go right there. So let's see how this looks. That's actually not too bad. So when it swings out, uh, the air blade is going to be about here. So that means it's going to be a little front heavy, so that's something to keep in mind, so the generators have to go more in the back, but we'll put those on once we actually get it all assembled and figure out where the actual center of mass is. So this is the air blade, and it just, just barely fits. We're going to have to do the shell around it, I think. Just going over top, or something to, I'll figure it out, might even have it go over top there and then sort of when it gets to the back then it does the overhang just to cover up the air blade because there's not really any way for me to get it closer actually there is because that air the hover pad that's actually yeah it will they'll all have to be there because I'm going to need both those hover pads to overcome that one. If not, then it's just going to do like a spring effect. So that's going to be where it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror the other side. And I'll show you that how the air blades are going to overlap. And then we'll start working on the shell. Okay, there they are. So that's what I mean about the overlap. And that's just because they got to have somewhere to go. Uh, I was able to move them in just a couple of blocks, and that's to to help them help them get tucked in a little bit better. Uh, doing this, that moves the center of lift back further, which means we've got to move the center of mass back further, which is not that big of a deal. And I had to move this thing over, so I actually had my supplies to actually build the things. And yes, this is this is a bug. They are going to be fixing that in the next update. Uh, as I said, it's. Uh, it's a special update. It's going to be a good one. So with, so if we have that. So now before I go ahead and deal with these hover pads, I want to get this uh, the shell made, and I got to figure out how it's all going to connect together. So we're going to have that there, and then since this one's up here, we can actually move this up a little higher. Uh, yes, I will change the color later. Okay, and so what I need to do is I need to have a one block gap in between here and here. And I also have to make sure that I have enough of a gap on the other side on the top. But that's going to where it's going to start getting curved, so that's going to be a little trickier. In fact, because I want the whole shell coming out. 
because that pushes out, then we could probably could probably cut it right here. I uh, don't really know how well it's going to work out. And then we just build it to fill it. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is that's going to it's going to clip somehow. Uh, let's see here. I designed this wrong. Let's actually take those out like that. And then we just try to match this curvature with this curvature. Like so. And then just build down. That is going to be a little bulky. Now I can't place it here because that's going to cause problems. And this is what I mean about having having a gap. So it's going to be, it's not going to be the, the most beautiful thing in the world, but it should be functional. And I'm actually almost thinking, I think here, actually I think these ones can go. That pushes there, and that stops there. This one pushes this. Yeah, so we can actually get rid of these. Well, maybe not all of those. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that back. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, I don't actually need this corner, so we can actually cut this out here and have this come right down to here. And we shouldn't have to worry about any clipping whatsoever. Uh, I know there's going to be some play in that rotating plate. If I can, I'm going to try to find a way to uh, secure it up top somewhere and go from there. So then it's just a matter of doing that on the top side. Uh, we have a little more freedom here. We can actually start going in right, right here. For instance, it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, nope, that's not the curve I'm trying to follow. But you, you get the, the idea. And like so. And go from there. So I'm going to do some work here. And I'll bring you back when I got this all ready to be painted. Okay, so I finally got the shell filled in. It didn't really turn out the way I wanted. I had to have it square like this. Well, I call it square, but not as rounded as I like. Uh, because this air blade is so high up, it actually needs this hitbox. And another reason why I should have planned this out a little bit more so I know how much, knew how much space I was going to need. But this back end is pretty much all done. As you can see, I've got the got a one block gap. That's just to avoid clipping because when this becomes free, uh, the weight of this is going to pull this down a little bit and it won't line up. So I have to do it that way. Uh, that's actually just a loose block. I uh, still fill all this in. Uh, this is where the the main hinge is going to be. On this side, it's going to have to be open like this because I need that one block gap. And then hopefully, this is set far back enough where this will stop right there and have it be open. And I got the same on the other side there. The other side's a little bit more ugly because it's down lower. I probably could have had it symmetrical, but trying to figure that this out was a, enough of a headache as it is. So, yeah, it's going to be... This opening is what we're going to see. Of course, there's going to be a wall going across the back here, so at least to be closed in, we won't be seeing light through too much of it. But that is that. So uh, it's going to be time to bring back the day. Then we'll finish up the front, get it all painted up, and see if it actually works. All right, so I decided to go ahead and fill in the rest of the, the shell and the rest of the shape. and. I was a little worried, but honestly, it's not looking that bad. You know, it's supposed to be a beetle. It's, that's what a ladybug is. It's just a different type of beetle. Uh, it's a rounded shape with a shell. Uh, it's got a bit of a flat face, but whatever. As long as it flies, that's all that matters. Uh, I should have left myself a spot to get in here. Because now that this is done, we got to go inside and finish up the rest of it. And I don't think I'm squeezing in. Oh, I am. What do you know? All right, let's uh, clean up all this loose junk here and not take out the wrong blocks. And I'm going to do a save. And save complete. It's always good, too, because if you do something and uh, 
you happen to, let's say you, you make a save and you do a change, and then you want to go and do another save again, but something doesn't work out right and auto saves before you get a chance to go back to the other save, then you're kind of screwed. If you know what I mean. But anyway, so what we're going to do now is, that's like the sixth battery I've gone through already. Well, that's weird. That should actually be there. Because that is one solid block. Why there's a a seam there. Oh, it's the light coming through. Of course. Of course. Alright, so now i got to go ahead and we finish this up. I know it doesn't really matter, but doing it anyways just for the sake of wasting the battery come on it's weird you can't place blocks you can't shoot past this corner but you can walk through it no problem or can you no I'm staying on there gotta love hitboxes so we finish that up, we finish that up, finish that up, and we finish that one. So now I need to get some power. Let's actually do the other side. We'll muzzle, extend up both at the same time. So the way it's going to be is these, these pads here, the ones that I have on this side, are going to be powered at all times. And then when we want to extend the wings, we have a switchboard up front that will power the other four hover pads which will cause the wings to move out at the same time also apply power to the air blades. At least that's that's the plan anyways. Oh yeah, I gotta fix that. Alright, so where is our center of mass? Right here. That is going to adjust when these move out because it's not registering this center of mass, it's just registering this structure. So if this center of mass is over here, when they extend out, they, it's going to move it to about here, which means that this center of mass is going to move forward to about here. So I want to have the generator on the back side here, probably right underneath here. Let's uh, get you out of the way. Can I squeeze through? Come on. I'm sure I can. I of course I cannot. All right, we'll pick a ceiling tile and we'll go down. All right, now time for some power. Uh, I also got to get uh, the wheels set up too. Yes, it is going to have some wheels. Uh, let's put center masses there. The further back we go from the center mass, the the greater of an impact it's going to have. Now, I think that is enough for this one. Where is it? Where's the big guy? Where is the big guy? Uh, there it is. Now, are you going to snap? Yes, you are. Do I want you here? Yes, I think so. So we just snap that to that. And, of course, I don't have any fuel on me. Yeah, I borrowed some from the trebuchet, just because. Alright, so now we just got to get a little switchboard on here somewhere. It's, uh, it's going to be on number five, number one, number one. Alright, so we go ahead and put that there for now. Should be centered, but a uh, tiny little thing like this, I don't think it's going to matter. Alright, so we will connect you to there. I actually do have to put some fuel in here. And then we gotta get our switchboard on the inside so I can actually hook things up. Oh, perfect time for an autosave. Right to the slice and dice. Alright, uh, we'll just place. Come on, there we go. And we'll connect this one to there. 
And we'll go back up. And yeah, I guess I'll power that one. Oh, and we unlock that. Is that actually going to be enough? No, it's not. I don't think it is, or something is touching somewhere. There we go. Yeah, just needs a little more power. But you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. I'm just going to get the thing open. I could probably could almost get that other effort pad on. Let me get the door, uh, wings open. I'll bring you back. Okay, I think I found out why it's not opening. I think it's this right here. I think it's actually clipping. If it doesn't want to open anymore, then it already has. Yeah, I don't think it's going to open anymore. I think we have a clipping issue. Yes, we do. Fair enough. Take those out. Because that hover pad actually needs that spot to push. Right. Okay, let me get these open. Okay, they are open. I had to trim a few blocks because they were clipping, so I was kind of understanding. And they seem to be somewhat in the same place, so it's not too bad. So I think we should be okay. Uh, the weight is a little ahead of them, but that is fine. Uh, this rain's not, unfortunately. So you can see what's going on here. This one isn't actually powered right now. Uh, so these ones are actually going to overtake everything else. So I have to make sure that that one is going that way. And the other one's got to be going the, back the other way. I had to uh, get those blocks in there to give a little bit of help with, the, with just the one hover pad for now. And yes, just like that. All right, we set that to grit hover. We set that to hover. Yes. And then those will be, everything's going to be set to hover, basically. These two are going to be the ones that get powered with the air blades. And then these ones stay powered all the time. So that is that. So let me uh, finish everything up. Uh, get some wheels and maybe a little bit of, a couple of accessories. And then we'll be good to go. Okay, there it is. Uh, there is a bit of an issue though when the, the wings are open. They're not technically stuck. They need something like a Minecraft update. If I go place a block on it, they'll both close for some reason. But I got the wheels set up. I was gonna... Actually, I forgot to unlock these. I was gonna put uh, some little legs on rotating plates just for decoration, but... Uh, been working on this for so long now. Oh, of course I don't have any frames. I moved my flyer. Haha. <laughs> that is our plating. We'll do this just quickly here. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. I kind of had a feeling it was going to be a bit of a challenge to begin with. What are you looking at? He was coming around here earlier checking out, see what was going on. Oh, I guess he wants to see if it's actually going to fly or not. But see what's going on is it's actually sticking right there. Even though it's not technically touching, it's, it's touching that corner. And if I just do something like... Uh, I won't do that because I don't even have any frames on me. There's got to be a frame laying around the ground somewhere. Oh, of course I cleaned up. Let's go grab a frame quickly here so we can get it to update. But then while it's moving around too, it could update just from that. So let's do this, see what happens. 
I put a stop at the back too there because the wings weren't closing evenly I noticed so let's just let's just put this on the outside as it will update and then they start closing that one does anyways having a two hover pads to close and one to uh, three to open would pro probably work better but as you can see we're already confined for space as it is all right so now that's that I'm gonna just drop the whole thing down and see if it actually flies that's what I'm wondering about okay and save before I do this see there goes the other door Starts going on its own. Or wing, not a door. Ooh, she's got some life. Let's see if I can actually get into first per third person and open this. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay stay closed. I don't know why. And come on. Oh, helps if I push the right button. Oh, it's not gonna let me pull up the C menu. Are you serious? There we go. Turn that on. Uh what's going on here? Houston, we have a problem. Ah, yes, I was going to use conveyors back here. <sighs> they never stick when you want them to. Okay, I believe that was a closing mechanism. I'd say it's turned on because air blades are spinning, but that's not the case right now. Something's going on here. Why are you opening now? I think something got mixed up. We're going to have to go inside and have a look. Something broke. Something broke. Oh, that might help. Let's see if we can get let's, let's turn this off because I think that's what's going on is that one hover pad just doesn't have anything to push against so we'll take a uh, trusty number eight here and try not to get killed by the door thing okay let's see if that doesn't even again no hmm I know this will trigger it should trigger it see I think it's too much play in those rotating plates see now it just doesn't even want to go why well this was work working out pretty good and now we have a bit of an issue. Oh. That could be it. I'm 
Does it need an update? No, it doesn't. Yeah, something broke. It was working fine. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's just go take it for a drive then. It's about all we can do. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I didn't even think of that. They're clipping right through. That's hilarious. Yes, we need powered blocks. Let's go run down some Godillas with a ladybug. Take down a tree while I'm at it. It's okay, it's a pink one. I don't like the pink ones anyways. And that one is stuck. Oh, look at that. I had grass going right through the thing. And another tree goes down. The ladybug from hell. Yeah. I had a feeling I was going to need more, a little bit more power on those things. But, whoa. And like I said, it's back heavy. Or it's front heavy. So what we do is we throw a base foundation on it. That's what we do. Oh, did I hurt you? Let's actually turn this off and get out of here. Uh, let me get out of here and regroup. So I ran into a bit of a snag. Well, a couple of snags, actually. Uh, the first snag is it cannot drive up a hill, even though I have the wheel set torque. I should have put another two wheels on at least. Uh, the second one is it's too front heavy. It will not. Excuse me. Right? Sorry, I had a yawn that had to come out. But yeah, so it was too front heavy. So I was trying to put a couple more uranium generators on the back to try to get the weight more in the back, and that didn't really work out too well. And then. And of course, I need more hover pads for it to, you know, properly keep those doors open, wings open, shell open, what have you. Uh, unfortunately, this is a lot of weight for one hover pad to actually deal with. Uh, don't think those air blades weigh too much, do they? 500. Do you mind? I'm trying to record here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, I guess it's a good time to call it here. Uh, I was hoping this was going to work, but we still have it, so we can always try again. Another time. He missed. I don't know where he, he is, but there we go. Even then, that should be opening him up, but because it's on a hill, it's trying to overcome the weight. And so on and so forth, but it was a good attempt. I was actually quite confident on it. It did. Again, I should have thought it out a little bit more, like I realize, I realize now that because of all the blocks I have in the front for the, the head of it, or the face, uh, that made it too front heavy because when the doors, the wings open, it brings all that weight up front, so realistically I should have had like a couple of base foundations or even a beacon hiding in there somewhere. I do have the room to stand something up. But at the same time, too, these these two air blades just aren't enough to actually lift this. I would have to hide some more, like maybe under here, some small air blades just to lift it up. But we can always revisit this another time. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. It's like they're flowing through water. Mm -hmm.